Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, all between Fred, my brother. How are you doing? Very good, V, and you. How was your weekend? Good, good, good. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of Monday Metal with V and Monday Metalhead Metal. Fred. Yeah, over the over the weekend, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, go watch the Mean Streak interview. It's hilarious. Probably one of the best shows we've done. Yeah, the, the girls were great. They were uh, fantastic. So today, we're going to be covering... Fred's pick of Smoking Snakes with the song called Angels Calling. So I'm freshly new to this band, never heard of them, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, uh, debut album called Danger Zone, um, another rocking band out of Sweden. Uh, badass name, badass look, and I get to do my badass joke that I tried smoking snakes once and couldn't keep it lit. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I won't do the follow-up <laughs> joke, but you can find all of Fred's reviews over at MetalTemple.com, by the way. And so here we go. right away eh? yeah out of the gates man and uh voice i i hear a little bit of blackie lawless in there i was always a big fan of wasp so i haven't heard this voice in a while so or this type of voice in a while yes yeah there's the, a lot of a lot of a lot of wasps body vibe in this band yeah oh absolutely This makes me want to drive 125 miles an hour down the highway. <laughs>
Nice. Hmm. And they're assigned to our friends over at FRL, which have a lot of great acts on it. A lot of we cover a lot of bands from uh, Frontiers. For sure. Yeah. Thank thank goodness for Frontier, man. They keep mm -hmm. keep the metal happening. Absolutely. Now, is, bad boys like these guys coming out. Are they an American band? No, they're from Sweden. Okay. All yeah, right. They're from Gutenberg, Sweden. This was their uh, Gutenberg. debut album. So, uh, right. and they're influenced by, well, Wasp, obviously, and uh, who else? Uh, Rat, Doc, and Kiss. But get you get that Wasp vibe immediately. Oh, for sure. Like they had the really. Uh, like in the beginning of the song, they had the rollicking. Yeah. And then the way that they, the guitar came over, it was in a different timing, which was, I, I really like when people mess with that kind of stuff. And they did it towards the end a little bit too. So uh, I'm always a fan. And um, a lot of times, in, you know, we've covered enough to where like, okay, they're going to do this now. You know, I didn't get that out of this song. You know, I thought they were going to do. Oh no, they didn't. They went the other way. That's why I asked if they're an American band versus overseas. Because uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and th th this is the actual. That's the day. Uh, the the first song off the album. And my first thought was, okay, if every song like this right. is it going to grow old quick? But there's uh, eleven songs on there, and and they uh, they don't. Each one's got its own little, you know, panache and a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of a difference to it, so it's a good rocking, good rocking album. Right on, right on, and of course, people don't forget to check out Tunage every Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday. And uh, want to thank you for checking out Monday Metal once again. And uh, Fred, got anything else to say, brother? That's it. Have a good week, everybody. Um, tell your friends all about Creativity Talking. Keep us up there, and we love y'all. All right. See you next time on. Monday Metal.